I missed you. Students at Spence Elementary School love getting lost in a good book. She gave Lisa some green rain. The school's teachers know that in order to develop lifelong readers, they need to build a strong literacy foundation in their young students. To do so, they've turned to a reading and writing program called Daily Five. Daily Five is a framework for delivering reading instruction that includes five components. Teacher Melissa Goyette explains. There's listen to reading, there's read to a partner, read to self, working with words, and writing. So what does Daily Five look like in a classroom? Four different things students need to do every day. There are five possible things they can do, but they need to do at least four every day. Two of them they have to do. They have to read to self or read to partner every day, and they have to do a writing every day. And then the word work or um, listen to reading, those are choices. And usually there are lots of different word work choices that they can do that you get the same result from, but they have different ways to get there. Second grade teacher Carla Fitzgerald also uses Daily Five to deliver her literacy instruction. Like Goyette, her students have five activity choices to work on their reading and writing skills. Read to Someone is a popular choice among the students each day. When they choose a peer to read with, they take turns reading. Um, while one person is reading, the other person is listening, and then they have to retell what they heard their peer read. Chickens got back into the rocket ship, all except the egg, bump, bump, bump. I heard you read that all the chickens got into the rocket ship, and the, except the one egg, bump, bump, bump. Second grader Demetrius Heider likes to read with a partner. You read a page or two, you read it, and like, after you're done reading it, um, you have the other person has to tell you, like, what I heard you read. Heider and his classmates use a wooden check mark to guide their conversation about the book. It says, I heard you read. And then if, like, they don't tell you enough, then you have to say, tell me more. What is it about partner reading that Heider likes? If someone gets stuck on a word, you can, like, try to coach them to figure it out. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not to watch TV. Classmate Haley Bell explains what she does when she chooses the read to self option. We go get our book basket and we um, go grab, we go sit in something and then we read a book. And what books does Bell like to read? Miss Daisy's Crazy and then, um, then Mr. Klutz is Nuts. The format of working in stations allows Goyette to better individualize her instruction. What it allows me to do is really hit kids at their need and move them forward from where they're at. So my, my learners who are reading already get more challenging material. My learners who aren't there yet, I work with them in a smaller group and even one-on-one -on -one oftentimes to get them up to speed. Both teachers intermix literacy lessons with the choice breakout sessions. It's 90 minutes long, um, broken into three rounds of 20 minutes. In between the rounds, we check in, I ring the bell, and they come to the carpet, and we reflect on the prior round, and then I teach a focus lesson um, geared towards this reading strategies or writing skills or word work. I'm gonna turn this into an A. What if we have C-A-N? Can. Good job. The teachers provide a multitude of activities at the Word Work Station. Word Work can be lots of different things. Um, right now, a lot of our Word Work Stations or our Word Work Centers that they can choose from are things where they work on what we call our heart words, which are sight words. We have to know them by heart in order to be effective readers. So Word Work is generally something where they're working on getting that automaticity with their sight words. Right now they have um, Play-Doh Word Cookies is one of the choices, where they just roll out Play-Doh, cut out the letters, and make cookies on a cookie sheet. And as evidence of their learning, I take a picture when they're done to see which words they've made. I'm gonna make the name M -O -M, M-O-M, Mom. Kindergartner Jasmine Parrish has mastered several of the required frequency words thanks to the word work activities. A, uh, the, is, and, I, to, on, with, you, be, have, on, with. The writing station also provides an opportunity for students to develop their writing skills. We 
write in our daily five journals and we get to write poems, um, stories, and about stories. Once written, the students share their work with the classmates. On her 16th birthday, she went through the wood. We come to the carpet and then we sit in the big um, rocking chair. Goyette and Fitzgerald both agree their students are benefiting from using the Daily Five. I know more about my kids academically than I ever have before. I know exactly who needs what, what their next steps are, and where they need to go. And her students like the results. I could get smarter at reading. Classmate Sasha Wynos agrees. You get smarter.